Hey everyone, my name is Paula and welcome to Relatively Refined. We are a new channel. It's a collaboration with my sister Patty. She lives in Vermont and I live in South Carolina. And we are hoping to create a channel that inspires you to make your life beautiful on a budget. We do all things related to home, cooking, gardening, thrifting, decorating, all of which is designed to make your home a beautiful, comfortable, welcoming space for you and your family. We will hopefully bring you a new video each week focusing on some area of making life beautiful. Today I have a thrift haul for you. This is not something that I collected just yesterday or in one thrifting trip. It's sort of a compilation of a couple weeks worth of thrifting, but I have it all kind of laid out here and I thought I would just share with you what I have found and then I will insert clips of how I use it to decorate my home and make it beautiful. So without further ado, let's jump right in. One of the first things that I found are these adorable little, um, I guess they really were for butter pats. It's a Johnson Brothers Friendly Village tiny little butter pack plate, and I found about a dozen of these. Some of them are chipped, but I don't really mind at all, actually. Um, I just love them, and I thought they were so cute, and I'm sure I can find something to do with them. Uh, the other thing that I found at the thrift store is this um, absolutely beautiful little matches holder. It says matches. I think it's actually coming off backwards on the camera, but um, it's something that you would hang on the wall and then you just stick your matches in. You maybe have it hanging near a wood stove or I remember my grandmother had an old fashioned gas stove in her house when I was growing up and you had to actually light the pilot light each time with a match. So this would have been a really, really cute item to have near there. In fact, I think she had a wooden match box hanging near her stove. Patty will remember that. <laughs> Um, let's see. Okay, so it was a brass day at Goodwill the other day. Um, I found, I walked in, and literally the first thing that I spotted when I walked in were these three candle holders. And let me just show you. Um, there were a pair of these, okay? These are gorgeous. They are Baldwin brass. I think it says it on the bottom here. I don't know, you probably can't read it because it's probably backwards, but... Anyway, they're hand forged um, in America, Baldwin brass. I mean, you could knock somebody out seriously with one of these. They are heavy, absolutely gorgeous. And they have this kind of lip right here that you could sit a, like a hurricane glass on top of. I mean, they are spectacular. They are beautiful. I love this kind of brass. I'm not a huge fan of the um, more patinaed brass. I really, really love this beautiful kind of it almost glows like in a, a way it's just it's not it's not a real brass brassy brass if you know what i mean it's really beautiful very fine and refined brass so i had a pair of those and then a single candlestick also baldwin brass um and there's the sign on the bottom or the mark on the bottom and they they're, they have the felt liners on the bottom but beautiful absolutely beautiful I could not resist. And they were, I think, the bigger ones were, I believe, $3.99, and this was $2.99. I mean, you cannot beat that with a stick, I'm telling you. The next thing that I found is this adorable little tin. Okay, it's just so, I mean, it looks very French country or English cottage kind of really, really cute tin. I love it. It, it opens up and you can keep things inside of it. Just really beautiful. And I, I happen to love the color green. So this is green and gold, which is fine by me. I love it. Let's see. Oh, also um, at Goodwill for $1.99, I found this really beautiful. I think it was probably a sugar bowl. It would have had a lid here. I mean, it's so cute. And on the bottom, let me put my glasses on. On the bottom, it says um, Upper Hanley semi-porcelain pottery of England. And you can see that maybe if I get it closer there and it focuses, really gorgeous. Again, that beautiful green color, love it. And I didn't really care that it didn't have a top because I'll use it to put something in flowers or 
cutlery, something, I don't know, but it's absolutely beautiful. Then um, I did also find another green and white picture. Let me set this down. And this is just a little creamer. It doesn't, I mean, it's not the same pattern, but again, it's that beautiful green and white. This does not have a mark on the bottom. Beautiful. Then let's see what else. Okay, also at Goodwill, I found, and now let me just tell you, I need dishes like I need a hole in the head, but I have an obsession, so you have to bear with me out. <laughs> I, there, I never met a dish I didn't like. Um, there are these four little, I think they're probably little dessert plates. How beautiful are these? They have this little gold detail here and they're little violets. I mean, I cannot resist. They are so beautiful. In the back, it just says um, Austria on it. But I found a, oops, a stack of four of them. So pretty. I couldn't leave those there. I really honestly did never have met a dish I didn't like. Let's see, what else do I have? Um, oh, uh, here again. I, I found a little, this is a Noritake cream and sugar set. I mean, how beautiful is that? It's got this kind of like palm branch kind of design on it, like a green branch, beautiful with some silver detailing on the edge. That's the creamer. And here is the sugar bowl. Again, so pretty. And it is marked Noritake on the bottom. I don't know if I mentioned that, but yeah, beautiful. Noritake China. And and it does have green on it, so you'll notice like, I, I'm, I have a thing for green these days, <laughs> but anyway, all different shades, but they're, they're all beautiful. And let's see. Um, oh, okay, here we go. This still has a Goodwill sticker on it. This is a beautiful bird print. It was $3.99, and it's a print by um, Annie Warsham Richardson, who is a South Carolina artist, I believe. But is that not gorgeous? I love birds. So I'll find some place for that. That was my dryer. We, um, we have four kids in my family. Patty and I have nine kids between us, but three, the older three will be leaving for college in the fall. So we're furnishing another house up near Clemson, which is where they'll be going to school. So great excuse to thrift, right? And then um, this was a Facebook Marketplace find, this beautiful, I actually got a set of four of them. They are um, Courier and Ives. I'm obsessed with Courier and Ives. I'm from Vermont, so this is so nostalgic for me and so reminiscent of Vermont. Um, anyway, this was the, um, the winter scene, American Homestead in winter. I have all four seasons, which I love, and um, I'm sure I can find places for all of these. And one last thing, which seems completely out of character, but here again, my taste runs the gamut. I think if I had to describe my style, hmm, it's some kind of a combination of English country, French country, traditional English cottage, French country cottage, I don't know, shabby chic, all of that thrown in. I love all of that. Um, but anyway, the last piece I wanna share with you, it, I got two of these canisters. This is the bigger of the two. This was at Goodwill. And it is this really cute Sears and Roebuck Mary Mushroom canister. Um, I, I don't know, how cute are those little toadstool mushrooms? I love them. And it has the green and, and some earth tones, which are beautiful colors. I love fall colors. So, um, I mean, I love pastels as well, but I could not, I couldn't put this, down when I picked it up. I was like, that has to go in my buggy. I, had, I couldn't leave it behind. So anyway, that is my thrift haul for this morning. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot one thing. And this, this is not, this was actually a gift from my mom. We were at an antique store and um, she, I, every time I went in this antique store, I looked at these. And they're these beautiful like Bakelite handled knives. And we were at this antique store and I went by the booth and I saw those and I said to my mom, 
gosh, I look at these every single time I come in here. And it just so happened that the lady who owned the booth was there and she said, would you like to get a deal on them? <laughs> I thought, well, heck yes, I would. So I don't remember exactly, but she took maybe like 25% off. She gave us a great deal and my mom got me these for Christmas and I love them. I love the color of these. I don't know what it is, but there's something about, I love cutlery. So cutlery dishes, I mean, I love it all, glassware. What can I say? I have an addiction. So anyway, that's the last thing. So I hope that you will subscribe to our channel. We really are trying to grow it. We want to make it a very attainable channel. You know, something that you could watch and say like, hey, you know what, I could do that. Um, something that, you know, you can really take away and take home with you and put to use in your own life and making your own life beautiful on a budget because we don't all have lots of money. And even if you did have lots of money, Maybe you don't want to spend it all decorating your home. It's, there's so many gorgeous items out there that you can buy secondhand at thrift shops and antique stores that you know would maybe end up in a landfill otherwise. So do your part and, and reuse something. There's so much secondhand beauty out there. Thanks again for joining me and I'll hopefully be inserting some clips in here of how I used these items in my own home and how I use them to help make my home beautiful on a budget. Take care and I'll see you in the next All right, one. So here are a couple clips of just these items styled in my house. I've got my coffee in that little mushroom canister and then my teaspoons are in that green pitcher that's sitting on top of the butter pat plates which I use to put my teaspoon on after I've stirred my coffee. On the other side of the coffee pot are the Noritake cream and sugar. The Bakelite handled knives that are in a clear glass jar so you can really see how pretty they are. And then that green tin. All of these items really go nicely together because the color palette is similar, even though stylistically they're sort of different. Um, I think they look great and fun. And it makes me happy. Over here by my stove is where I have put the courier knives tray. And I'll switch that out with each season since I have all four seasons. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you will come back and see us again. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. We'll see you again soon.